Hey there, speculators. It's Rod. Futures on Fire and TDG, the Traders Dev Group. We make software and strategies for the active trader. In today's video, I am going to uh, answer a bunch of requests that I've had, which is, hey, tell me a little bit about the indicators and the chart template that you're working with on Trader View, Trading View. So that's what we're going to do in tonight's video. I'm going to build from scratch everything that you're seeing here, my handy dandy template that I use uh, to trade the futures as well as the stock markets for intraday income. So stick around. We'll get started right after this. Awesome. Okay, gang, so here is uh, the chart built out. By the way, if you're not familiar in the upper left-hand corner, this is where all of your indicators you've applied to the chart. If you wanna minimize that, you can just minimize right here with this fancy arrow. So there's actually four different indicators applied to this chart, but what I'm going to do is build it from scratch. So let me show you what your charts will look like if you're just brand new to TradingView and you open up a brand new chart, you're gonna get something that looks something like this, okay? So it'll look like this. It will have volume at the bottom. I believe this is the default for all charts. It'll have volume at the bottom. Uh, it defaults to candlesticks, which I use for, uh, for the purposes of TradingView and they'll be green and red and look like that okay so it's christmas all around over here so the first thing i do is i just bail out of this type of volume and i'll show you why because i much prefer a volume histogram and we'll build that on our chart so what i'm going to do here is just basically x out of that if you wanted to hide it you can also hide there's a little show or hide okay but i'm just going to blow it out so get rid of it and it's absolutely gone now the next thing i'm going to do is right click go to settings this is all just a matter of preference you don't have to do anything with any of the colors of the bodies if you don't want to but you can see that's a bullish and that's bearish so i like to turn this to uh to white like that and i turn the uh the wicks to black for all the wicks uh, excuse me the borders and i turn the wicks black as well okay so that's the look i like and when you do that you get something that looks like that all right so bullish is basically a hollow bar uh, by the way that's just with the standard candles like that you get what's like a hollow look i don't actually have hollow candles here if i had hollow candles you see they look like that but essentially they look pretty much the same so there's your candles um, right there okay now the first indicator that i'm going to apply um, basically for what i'm going to do here you are going to have to have a paid membership to trading view i mentioned all over the channel that TradingView is one of the best investments I think you can make in a great charting platform. You can do all your analytics and everything that you need to do. It covers all instrument classes, Forex, crypto, um, futures, uh, stocks, all that type of stuff. You can uh, hit the like, subscribe, and uh, what do they say? Smash that like button if you'd like to uh, make sure you're notified of more videos I do on how you can make sure you get uh, data into TradingView or you can check here on the channel for um, for other videos on that. But basically, you're pretty much covered for about 15 bucks a month. It's a heck of a deal. And if you check the description below, you might be able to find a link where you can save, I don't know, I think 15 or 30 bucks or something like that if you subscribe to uh, TradingView. Now, um, so what I'm going to do now, you do have to have a subscription. You might be able to get away with a little bit of on a free account, or you can certainly find out if you can. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my version of what I like to do with the volume profile. And um, if you don't see this, that means that you don't have the right version of TradingView. You're going to go over here to volume profile. You'll see that there's four different ones. I go to the visible range. Now, it makes sense to take a moment, click on this little uh, question mark right here and read the definition of what a volume profile is, how it's uh, configured, what, what is uh, a point of control. There are plenty of, of very good um, videos on the internet about uh, uh, volume profile and that type of stuff. I won't go into it all of it here. In the Futures and Fire trade room, I trade it pretty actively and uh, cover that in a lot more detail. Uh, right there but there's the vision uh, the version or the description of what the visible range is so i'm going to apply that once to my chart you just click on it one time all right and that's the visible range now without going into this in a tremendous amount of detail because i'll be posting other videos about how i actually trade this template that we're building in that video i'll go through a lot more about what this profile volume history round looks like how to interpret the poc um, which is the point of control or the price at which the most amount of volume has traded. And the real cool thing about the visible range is that it's basically doing all the calculations based on the exact data or bars, the look back period that you have right here on your chart. So if I tighten it up, we'll see if anything changes. Um, now, oh, it did. See how it shifts down here to 3160, okay? And that's just because I brought in more data. So you get a different kind of look. So that's why it's called the visible range. Let me see if it, yeah, that'll just sort of 
replot itself right there, okay? All right, so that's the first thing I've applied is the visible range. The next thing I'm gonna do is come in back into here and I'm going to type in moving average. Moving average exponential, okay, apply it one time, hit it once, and I'm gonna come over here and select the settings, okay? I'm gonna to go to the style right here and I'm just gonna make it a little thicker, okay? And I'm gonna change it to a 233. Okay, 233 EMA. And this is what we call our T-line. So those who are members of the TDG Traders community or Futures on Fire know what the T-line is. It's our trend line. Um, it's a, again, a 233 EMA. And what's nice about it is you can use the T-line or this exact same 233 EMA, which is a Fibonacci sequence number, on any time frame that you like. I'll typically look at it in 30 and 60 minutes, but if you trade on a five minute, a three minute, uh, if you trade on four hour bars, look at the significance of the 233 EMA. We call that the T-line. So I apply that next. Okay, the next one is a little tricky. You wanna come over here and you search for, uh, I wish I would have remembered. Um, I think you search for, uh, hold on, pause the video for just a moment so I can make sure I know what it is. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're going to search for the search term previous. You're gonna be under the uh, public library or yeah, the public library, okay? And I'm gonna come down to this one right here. So it is, as of now, the time I'm making this video, the one, two, three, four, five, sixth one down, it says O-N-I-X-B-T. By the way, the great thing, another great thing about TradingView, many, many great things, is they have a gigantic community of developers and people that contribute and offer these free uh, additional indicators to all of the built-in indicators that's provided by TradingView. Um, it's all uh, completely free. A lot of these are of high value, but you do have to kind of hunt around for the one that you like the best. And what this is, is a previous high, low, current, and open, okay? So I'm gonna click on that one time. And what I'm gonna do now is just go to the settings for that, okay? And I wanna turn off all of this and just all I'm interested in is the previous day high and the previous day low. And again, in this video, I'm not gonna get into the strategies around what these levels are used for, but especially in futures trading, which is what, what I predominantly do, although again, you can use this template for trading stocks, Forex, anything. We'll go into that in more detail, but it's it's really nice to have, especially in 23 hour markets, the prior days, prior entire 23 hour session high and low. So it encompasses the average, the trading session for the day, as well as the trading session uh, that occurs when the market is closed. It's not as critical in my opinion for trading stocks because stocks tend to be a little bit more gappy because why? They're actually gonna follow the futures. So they'll gap up or down depending on uh, generally what the futures are, are doing. So I'm gonna hit okay there and let me come over here real quick and show you what I like on the style. Uh, by the way, I'm going to turn all these others off. I already turned them off anyway because so they're not influencing anything. I'm going to come to the previous daily high. And the high for me is a potential area to actually want to be a seller. I'm going to make it a little thicker. Click off of it. I'm going to come to the previous day low and that's where I'd like to be a buyer. And click off of that. Okay. So now what I have if I tighten this up is I have prior day is high right here, the prior day is low. At the time I'm making this video, look how this came down. This is during a regular trading session to the absolute tick of the prior session's high. So in this particular session, market came down here, came all the way up, closed around this area, gapped higher in the Globex when the uh, S&P opened up again, traded around, traded around. Here's the actual cash session, comes down and touches it to the tick. Can you see this might be one of the strategies that we're gonna use, which is the significance of the prior sessions high or low to make some trading decisions. In this case, a perfect long at 31, uh, 3192. I know it just because we took it today. Okay. And target on that, by the way, is right up here at the visible range POC, which is 3215. So nice trade for, uh, I believe it was 23 points or something like that. All right. So now we've applied the um, visible range uh, from the volume profile. We've applied the 233 EMA, which is our trend filter or our T line. And we've applied the prior sessions high, low. And if you'd like, you can add opens and monthly highs and weeklies or whatever, but that gets a, a little, uh, can be a little overwhelming. All right. Now the final thing we're going to do is apply the secret sauce. And I'm going to come over here and go to the extreme turn. Now, this is a proprietary um, indicator that is only available for members of TDG Futures on Fire. Okay. We make it very, very, very economical. We are really trying to help as many traders out as we can. I'll tell you the logic behind it is a combination of RSI and ADX. Uh, you probably won't be able to reverse engineer it. Heck, just hit that like button, subscribe, 
turn on the comments for more information and you'll be sure to find out ways in which you can potentially get access to uh, access to this okay so that's it we've got uh, the extreme turn actually applied here you can see how well it picked a turning point here and uh, here you had to wait for it but it did find an actual if we tighten this up a little bit more you can see some nice extreme turning point buys here and again the extreme turning point signal can be used in any market at any time frame we predominantly use it in futures uh, again since they're 23 hour markets we get a little bit more data we're gonna get more signals but again you can use it to trade any instrument that you like to trade all right so just a quick recap again we put the visible range on there we put a 233 EMA we put the open high low close uh, indicator and we put the TDG uh, extreme term again like subscribe hit that uh, hit that uh, bell notification so you know when we're going to be broadcasting next and you'll be aware of the next video in the series which I'll go through a little bit about um, well more than a little bit some decent amount of detail about exactly how we trade this uh, these various indicators on a daily basis last thing you might want to do here is it's gonna uh, uh, auto save it for you to unnamed you just come in here and rename this and then you have your uh, have your template there so let me just hit go ahead and rename it I'll call it uh, uh, YouTube YouTube uh, demo something like that I hit save and boom I'm on the YouTube demo if I want to load a new chart layout here is a bunch of unnamed charts that I was doing some other stuff with, so I'll just blow those out so we don't clutter up our workspace here. Get rid of all that. So we have the, this is my primary TDG futures, which we just built right here in our YouTube demo. And um, one other thing that we're doing with TradingView, a uh, good reason to follow along and, and see what we're doing is because we're just kind of getting started with restarting our complete strategy lab development for those of you that are more interested in fully automated, semi-automated trading. Uh, in my opinion, really the only way to go in these types of markets is to make sure that you have a computer helping out with some logic for entry and exits, identifying um, strategies or places to be involved in the market, even if you're not automatically entering those orders, at least the computer is helping you know when you should be in the market. And we're doing that here in our Strat Lab. So this is our first uh, go at, uh, if I turn it on, one of our strategies that's running here. I don't know if you can see this. It's There's the short signal. So it's actually just generating pretty good long right here, huh? Here's a long, probably stop out short. Here's a long, caught this whole run right here. So um, what's this time frame? This is a one hour chart right here. All right, we'll leave it there for now. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, really, really digging uh, trading view for analysis and for uh, uh, for all of our charting. And again, uh, we get a lot of questions about how to trade through it. And I've done a bunch of videos on how to potential how to trade a couple different brokers from TradingView. But you don't have to be too concerned with that if you're working with any of the five or six big brokers, like you know Schwab or TD Ameritrade or or E Trade or even Robinhood on your mobile phone. You can still chart uh, right here on TradingView and then go and enter those trades uh, on your platform especially the types of um, signals and, and entries that we talk about at TDG most of them give you plenty of time so we're not scalping here and, and uh, time while timing is important uh, being glued to your screen or being uh, uh, requiring that the platform is also what you enter your trade on is not necessarily um, uh, not necessary that it's not necessarily what you have to do just to get a lot of value out of trading view all right, we'll leave it there for now. My name is Rod with TDG, the Traders Dev Group, makes software and strategies for the active trader. I'd like to remind you to stay green and trade like you mean it. Thanks.